Hey everybody! Uh, it is the Tuesday after Labor Day, so kids started school today um, for a, um, what were they there for an hour today, um, but starting full days tomorrow, I thought I would just hop on and share a little bit about how I'm getting prepared. So we were away for Labor Day weekend, and we've kind of spent all summer just like scattered, camping, um, having fun, going to the beach. So I've not been in my regular routine and I'm not gonna lie, today something just kicked in. It's like this nesting instinct. I'm all of a sudden um, really excited to get back into a routine. I'm really excited to get more organized with our food again um, and just get things rolling. So I thought I would show you what I've been um, or how I approach my um, lunchtime prep for my kids. Um, and a little bit for me too. So uh, because we were away all weekend and I don't do sh my shopping until Thursday, my dinner tonight, I went to my freezer. So I pulled out, I found some um, pork sausage patties, some squash, which I cooked ages ago and froze. And then I made a quick salad. So I had that time. So because my freezer is well stocked and I make good use of my dinner freezer meal prep, I literally pulled stuff out of the freezer to reheat for dinner tonight. So that gave me some more time at dinner time. So I literally wandered in the house from the garden at five o'clock. And instead of starting dinner, I made a double batch of chocolate zucchini muffins. So, you know, by having my freezer meals ready to go for dinner, that gave me that flexibility to do that. So I started those at five. They probably went into the oven at 5.35, 5.40. And then I kind of reheated dinner while they baked. The other thing I like about baking right before dinner is then the baking dishes get done at the same time as the dinner dishes. And for some reason, it doesn't feel like as much work. So I got, what did I get? 15 muffins and 24 mini muffins. So in reality, that's probably two weeks worth of lunches for my kids. I'll freeze those. I really like muffins because they're quite forgiving. So these are, of course, double chocolate zucchini with the chocolate chips, the cocoa powder, all that stuff. But I love it because once you've got your muffin batter mixed up, I throw in, what did I throw in these ones? I threw in like a cup of shredded coconut. I threw in a cup of uh, hemp hearts to increase the healthy fats and the protein for my kids. Um, I think there was something else I added in that wasn't in the recipe, but muffins are awesome that way. You can just load them up with like raisins or chopped dried fruit, whatever you feel, you know, would help your kids and, and they're gonna, the batter just does amazing with that kind of stuff as long as you're not changing the liquid ratio in it, right? So that's what I use my dinner time for. For my lunches, you can see I've got them set up here. So I do two days of lunches at a time. Um, in reality, you know, for my wraps here, it, I only had to get out one butter knife. I only had to get one cutting board dirty rather than doing it all again tomorrow, getting those dishes dirty again tomorrow, getting everything out of the fridge, putting it back, you know, all that time adds up. So I just do it all at once. I do know some moms who do their whole five days all in one go. I, that system's just never worked for me. I find two days at once is good. My kids complain at me if I do more than, or if they eat the same thing for an entire week. So I just do their two days. <clears throat> um, the melon I did this afternoon, I was cutting melon for them anyways for a snack. So because again, I had the knife out, I had the cutting board out, they needed a snack today. And I just thought, you know what? I'm just gonna cut the whole, I had half a, a cantaloupe there. I just cut the whole thing and I put it into containers for them. So it didn't really feel like I was prepping lunch because I was just making them a snack this afternoon. So it didn't take me much extra time. And again, no extra dishes. Um, so then they've got their muffins, they've got their wraps. I try to make sure all their lunches include proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. So they've got their cheese and butter on here. That's their fats. Super healthy for kids to get their fats in. It's very uh, good for their brains as well as for their hormone development if they're starting to get up into those preteen ages, that kind of stuff. Um, and then of course the lean sandwich meats is their protein. And then the wrap would be their carbs. I really super love these Heavenly Hunks from Costco. So that's kind of their special dessert. They only have seven grams of sugar. And when I read the ingredients, it's mostly stuff, like I feel like I could make these at home. So they pass my test as far as prepackaged foods that I buy. I also love that they're not prepackaged, right? They're in bulk and I can put them into containers. So that saves me, um, you know, I don't, I don't love prepackaged snacks. I, it's too much wrapping. It's too much garbage. It's not good for the environment. Um, it just kind of makes me a bit sick to my stomach. So I almost always buy in bulk and then split out. Not only is it better for the environment, it saves me a ton of money. 
we do a lot of dried fruit that way. Huge fan of Costco, so hopefully you've got a Costco membership if you're watching this. I love that a lot of their dried fruit does not have added sugar. Like the ingredients on these are literally apples. Um, I love it. And this, I think there's, yeah, just mangoes. They don't even have like a citric acid or anything on them. So that definitely passes my test when I'm looking for that. So the kids don't have apples in this one, but I did a couple little containers of dried mangoes. And then we've got pretzel crisps. And again, looking at these ingredients, it's mostly stuff that I would have at home. Um, there's sodium hydroxide, which is the only thing I wouldn't be putting into my own baking, right? Which is, that's the preservative to keep them crispy and lasting longer. So, um, so in general, when I'm looking, so, and then they've got their plums from um, my mom and dad's tree. So I always love free food. Got to take advantage of that when you get it, right? So when I'm looking at packing their lunches, a lot of um, fresh or as much fresh as I can, right? So I would probably have a veggie in here if we had not just gotten back from camping. You know, cucumber sticks, carrot sticks, that kind of stuff. But I mean, fresh fruit is just as good as fresh veggies. And some kids just aren't veggie kids. If your kid doesn't love veggies, that's fine. Load them up on fruit. There's tons of nutrients and good stuff in there for them. Um, but again, I look, I make sure they get their protein and that's what I find the toughest one to get into my kids. Um, so that might be egg, that could be your lean meats, that could be um, like your beans, a hummus would get some protein into your kids. Um, and then their healthy fats, which for my kids, um, they actually can't eat dairy and or if you're in a nut free class, um, nuts are also a really good source of fat. So I find it quite a challenge for me to get fats into my kids without the dairy. So they've got their dairy free cheese here. Um, but I'm quite often doing like energy bites or adding things like hemp hearts to their muffins because that's gonna make sure to get those fats into them. So proteins and fats, um, super good, not just for their growth, um, but for their brain, for their energy levels. Um, and it's also gonna keep their bellies feeling full. Um, you know, if you send them a, a lunch that's mostly carbs, which let's face it, kids love carbs, right? It's their, their we probably all know it as moms. If kids have a choice of a snack, it's going to be something carb heavy, um, but they're gonna be feeling hungry all day. They're gonna need snack after snack after snack after snack. So if you find your kids are needing huge, huge, huge lunches, try and think of ways that you can sneak in that extra protein and those extra fats, and you might find all of a sudden they need one less or two less snacks than um, if it was a very carb heavy lunch, because we just don't burn through it as fast. It keeps our tummies full. So that's kind of my main strategy for lunch. I keep the sugar low, make, watch for those proteins and fats and try to get them in there. Um, for myself, the environmental factor is huge. So I buy in bulk and then split out into smaller containers. And I pack two days at once because honestly, um, I don't like packing lunches. I kind of make more work for myself because I don't do the pre-packaged. Um, but by doing two days at once now, I get tomorrow night off. So, you know, I could take that 20 minutes or 15 minutes that I would be using to make lunch to either do something else for myself or I could do something like whip up a quick batch of energy bites because they take almost no time to throw together. And right now I'm in week one, I'm kind of, trying to stock up on the snacks. Normally my freezer would be stocked with a couple different kinds of muffins, um, you know, cause they're not gonna wanna eat these every day. I'll freeze them and just pull them out as we go and I'll mix it up with some other goodies as we go. So that's how I prep for my lunches. Hopefully there is a tip or two in there that will be helpful for you as well. I'd love to hear from you. Um, tips that you have that you send your kids with if there's snacks that you've discovered that they love and you also love that are healthy um, or just let me know what your favorite tip was from the live tonight that would be awesome so thanks a lot for tuning in everybody uh, i appreciate your time and happy back to school